What's going on family? It's Guru, aka White Shaman, and I'm welcoming you guys back to my library. Thank you guys for being here. Today I want to talk about milk. Like I said guys, welcome back to my library. It's really good to have you guys here. I absolutely love this place. I've been spending a lot of time in here. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your stay in my little think tank. Most of us were brought up thinking that cow's milk was a very important part of the diet. We were told to believe that cow's milk had many health benefits, which arguably it does. But today I want to talk about the more negative side of drinking cow's milk. Like I said, many of us were brought up on cow's milk. Um, you know, we've all heard the Got Milk campaign. We've all heard many celebrities vying for milk. Milk is a post-workout. Milk is a pre-workout. Um, milk, milk, milk. Milk with your cereal. Should we be drinking this much milk as humans? Should we be drinking the milk of another creature at this quantity. As you guys might know, the dairy industry is an incredible PR machine. It is incredibly good at marketing itself and sometimes spinning unhealthy products as healthful products. Although research is starting to reveal that cow's milk isn't the best thing for humans to be ingesting at a large quantity, um, it does have some relatively positive health qualities. Um, it's high in calcium, it's high, it's high in vitamin D, and it's also a great source of potassium. Milk also boasts potential health benefits for brain, bones, as well as your heart. So guys, Milk does have some good to it, but today I'm here to really argue the quantity of milk that um, we as a nation consume um, as being a little bit too much. Um, and I'll tell you guys why. It's pretty obvious that not all milks are created equal. Guys, um, I jotted down a few notes here. Um, so... Guys, pasteurized milk that is high in protein, low in fat, and free of unnecessary additives can be healthful for many people. So, that's a good thing. But these flavored milks that contain as much sugar as a can of soda are definitely not healthy. Um, so, a lot of these milks are snuck onto the market as really the same thing. Guys, let me just tell you that um, present day cow's milk is not a single product. It can be fresh or long life, fat free, lactose free, fortified with omega 3s, hormone free, organic, raw, um, and there's actually some other options out there too. So guys, milk is a wide range of products right now. So make sure you know exactly if you choose to consume cow's milk, what kind of cow's milk are you drinking daily? We want to talk about the negative aspects of drinking milk so let's get into them cow's milk is not designed for human consumption cow's milk contains on average about three times the amount of protein that human milk does so that right there will create a metabolic disturbance or a problem inside of humans um, and it can have detrimental bone and health consequences all right guys let's keep it rolling with these facts so milk and dairy products are pro-inflammatory and mucus producing so milk increases the risk of respiratory conditions allergies and whatnot it has been linked to the development of arthritis because of the joint inflammation. Um, 
America has one of the highest consumption rates of dairy, yet it also has one of the highest rates of osteoporosis. I want to know why that is. Um, excess calcium needs to be excreted, and I think the kidneys bear such a large, such a strenuous load. Um, I, I think that's a good contribution to the formation of kidney stones. Um, so, and one more thing, guys. Um, a, a glass of milk contains acidic animal protein that leaches calcium from our bones. Um, it also contains pus cells um, and honestly feces components, um, which is, I, I think, very strange. Guys, there's also bovine growth hormone um, and some kind of strange antibiotics that um, really we shouldn't be consuming unless we are cows. There's even issues with organic milk. So there's components of organic milk that can be troublesome for people. So um, the hormones naturally found in organic cow's milk may play a role in studies that have found a relationship between dairy products and human illnesses such as acne, certain cancers, um, male reproductive disorders, and even early puberty in young females. The combination of nutrients found in both organic and non-organic cow's milk increase our own production of um, some types of hormones. These hormones have been shown to increase our risk of certain forms of cancer. Um, guys, I've been off of milk for a couple of years now. I usually drink almond milk. I love pea milk. Um, not a huge fan of soy milk, but it is a decent alternative. Same thing with rice milk. I'm not a big rice milk guy. But um, guys, if you want to drink a milk-like substance, you know, get a, a healthy um, beverage into your diet and avoid these unnecessary hormones, guys, look for these milk alternatives. Um, I think probably the best one out right now is pea milk. Look into pea milk, guys. Both prostate and breast cancers have been linked to the consumption of dairy products particularly milk. All right, guys, so I have here a quote from Dr. Robert Krajian. Um, he was the former chief of general surgery at Seton Medical Center. So Robert said, don't drink milk for health. I am convinced on the weight of the scientific evidence that it does not do a body good. Inclusion of milk will only reduce your diet's nutritional value and safety. Most of the people on this planet live very healthfully without cow's milk, you can too. Guys, this is a doctor saying this stuff. Um, so forget that guru saying it. Um, guys, there's so many doctors and physicians making these claims. So um, check it out. I've got one more quote here from Joseph Mercola, an osteopathic physician. Um, Joseph said, Milk and refined sugar make two of the largest contributions to food-induced ill health in our country. It is my strong recommendation that you dis discontinue your milk products. You guys are starting to gather that milk is a complex mixture of substances, um, some desirable and others most definitely not. Um, avoiding milk is a health benefit, not a hazard. So. As long as you have a modest amount of calcium from a good quality supplement, you should be fine um, cutting cow's milk out of your diet. Let me go on one more rant regarding the facts behind the negative effects of ingesting cow's milk as a human. So guys, the fact is drinking cow's milk has been linked to iron deficiency anemia in infants and children it has been named as the cause of cramps diarrhea in much of the world's population um, and it's it causes multiple forms of allergies in no mammalian species except the human race um, is milk cons consumed past the weaning period calves thrive on cow's milk that's obvious because they are cows um, guys if any of you have children you see how fast they grow on breast milk or even a formula based on the components of breast milk. 
humans grow pretty well off that. Um, but I don't know if cow's milk is really intended for us to drink in large quantities. Maybe as a treat once in a while. Um, in many other parts of the world, um, East Asia, Africa, South America, people regard cow's milk as unfit for human consumption, um, especially adult human consumption. All right, family. So you've heard my thoughts on cow's milk. Um, I've cut it out of my diet a few years ago. I maybe drink it once a year. Um, I believe it's best to be ingested in moderation, especially as an adult human. Um, but guys, do the research. Do your own research, um, especially you milk drinkers out there, because most of us Americans were brought up as milk drinkers thinking that milk was probably one of the best health products, basic health products on the market, which, and the fact is, guys, it's, it's really not. Love is my only agenda. I made this channel out of love. If you guys subscribe, it's really nothing but love from my end, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm really trying to grow this channel. I'm just a guru trying to spread knowledge. Guys, 143. All right, family. It's Guru, a.k.a. White Shaman. A.K.A. Gooster Damas, A.K.A. Natty Boo Boo, A.K.A. Baby Gooey, A.K.A. Rey Mysterio Gunya, A.K.A. Gunya Say Ho, and I'm just thanking you guys once again for joining me in my library. I really love you guys, man. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Man, it's nothing but love. Love is my only agenda out here, guys. Stay knowledge, stay wisdom, stay gooey to the max. Peace. Guys, thank you for joining Natty Boo Boo. AKA Baby Gooey, AKA White Shaman. Man, I really appreciate you guys. AKA Rey Mysterio Gunya, AKA Gooster Damas, AKA The Heated Blanket, AKA Ken Griffey Gunya, AKA Gunya Seho, AKA Your Brother in the Gym. Guys, much love. Thank you, as always. Peace from Guru.